How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access math teacher, Ash, and welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss MELC Grade 7, Quarter 1, Week 3, The Number Line and Absolute Values. So, before anything else, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool clear math videos just like this. Hello math learners, how are you? Today, we're going to discuss the number line and absolute values. The content standard of this lesson is that you as students will use properties of numbers to demonstrate whether assertions are true or false, what it means to you. You'll use the number line to show real numbers and you'll describe them in terms of absolute values. So the keywords for this lesson are real numbers and absolute value. Now, let's start. The number line is a useful way of representing numbers visually. If you want to know the meaning of a number line, it's just a line with numbers on it. This topic also includes information about absolute values, which show how far from zero numbers are on the number line. Number lines show real numbers as point on a line. All real numbers can be found on the number line, no matter how big or small, they are, and no matter whether they are rational or irrational. Now, let's consider this diagram. This is a number line with negative numbers, 0 and positive numbers. Negative 4.5 is a number between negative 4 and negative 5. 1 half, a rational number or a fraction, is considered to be found between 0 and 1. The square root of 2 is found between 1 and positive 2 as well as the 1 million number will be found on the continuation of this number line on the right side. In addition, for every point on the number line, there is a real number. So, there's a 1 to 1 correspondence between the real numbers and the points on the number line. Now, let's consider this diagram. For each point on the number line, the corresponding real number is called the coordinate of the point. As you can see in this diagram, 1 with a point on the number 9 is considered to be the coordinate of the point 1. And for each real number, the corresponding point is called the graph of the number. Now, given in this blue point, this is known as the graph of negative 4. So, in this whole diagram, we have the graph of negative 4 and the graph of positive 1. Or we can also name this as the coordinates of positive 1 and negative 4. The number to the left of 0 on the number line are all negative. So, this number before 0 is known as negative numbers. The numbers to the right of 0 are positive. They're greater than 0. So, 0 is neither negative nor positive. So, as you can see here, 0 is not negative nor positive. This is a neutral number. So, negative 1 has the minus sign beside the number in order for it to be known as negative numbers, while positive numbers are just numbers itself. Now, let's consider some guided practice. Number 1. Only integers can be found on the number line. Is this statement true or false? The correct answer is false because all real numbers can be found on the number line. Let's go to number 2. Identify the corresponding real numbers of points A to E on the number line below. As we can see, point A is in the coordinate negative 4. Point B is in negative 1. C is in 0. D is in positive 2. And E is between 4 and 5. So that means that is 4.5. Now, let's check our answers. Alright, we are all correct. Let's go to number 3. Draw the graph of 6 on the number line. Use a copy of this number line to answer questions 3 and 4. So we have this number line and we will now graph 6 on the number line. So 6 is a positive number. Therefore, this is where our 6 will be located. Okay, now let's go to number 4. Draw the graph of negative 2 on the number line. Negative 2 is on the left side of 0. So therefore, we have our coordinate on this point. Easy, right? Now, let's continue. The number line can be useful for calculations. 
If you think of a number line as a road, then you can think of coordinates as movement along the road, either to the left or to the right, depending on the coordinate sign. For example, negative 5 would indicate a movement 5 units to the left. So considering that 0 is the starting point, in order to go to negative 5, we just need to move 5 places to the left. Easy, right? Now, let's consider another, while 4 would mean 4 units to the right. So since this is 0, going to positive 4, which is here, we just move 4 units to the right. So therefore, in order to understand well about number line and numbers and the graph of numbers on it, you just need to consider that going left means negative and going right means positive. Now let's try an example. Find 3 minus 2 plus 4. The solution is we rewrite 3 plus negative 2 plus 4 so we can interpret it easily. Let's consider this number line. Start at 3, so we will start here at positive 3. Then, since what we will be adding is negative 2, so we will move 2 places to the left. So from positive 3, we go 2 places to the left, reaching positive 1. And then, plus 4, so that means we move 4 places to the right. So from positive 1, we move 4 places to the right, and we go or we land at positive 5. So the correct answer for 3 minus 2 plus 4 is equal to positive 5. Easy, right? Now let's continue. The absolute value of a number is its distance from 0. The opposite of a real number c, that is negative c, lies an equal distance from 0 as c, but on the other side of 0. So the opposite of 4 or positive 4 which lies 4 units to the right of 0 is negative 4, which lies 4 units to the left of 0. So positive 4, the opposite is negative 4. And negative 4, the opposite is positive 4. That's simple. And we also have the opposite of negative 7, which lies 7 units to the left of 0, is positive 7, which is located 7 units to the right of 0. So positive 7, the opposite is negative 7. And negative 7, the opposite is positive 7. Now, let's continue. The distance from 0 to a number line is called the number's absolute value. It doesn't matter whether it is to the left or to the right of 0. So absolute value just means the size of the number, ignoring its sign. The absolute value of C is written like this. So it is just like a symbol of the parallel symbol with a value or a variable inside that parallel symbol. So that is read as the absolute value of C. More algebraically, the absolute value of C is just equal to C if C is greater than 0. It will become 0 if C is equal to 0. But it will also become C if C is less than 0. So as you can see in this algebraic interpretation, whether C is less than or greater than 0, the simplified answer is always the positive value, C. The absolute of a number can never be negative. Remember that, math learners. Now let us go to example number 2. Find the absolute value of 6, the absolute value of 0, and the absolute value of negative 23. Let's start with absolute value of 6. So same as our algebraic interpretation, any number inside the absolute value is just its value. So the solution for A is 6. 6 is positive, so the absolute value of 6 is equal to 6. We go to question number 2. What is the absolute value of 0? So by definition, if the number inside our absolute value symbol is 0, then the value is 0. Let's go to the third example. The absolute value of negative 23. Negative 23 is negative. However, talking about absolute value, we are just considering the size of the number. So therefore, the value is 23. Easy, right? Now let's consider this guided practice. Find the following absolute values. Absolute value of 6. Easy, 6. Okay, number 6. Absolute value of 15. Easy, positive 15. 
the absolute value of negative 3. That is positive 3. Very good. The absolute value of negative 8. That is positive 8. What is the absolute value of 0? 0. What is the absolute value of 1 half? That is still 1 half. What is the absolute value of square root of 2? That is square root of 2. What is the absolute value of negative 1 third? The answer is 1 third. So it's very simple, my dear math learners. Let's continue. Choose the correct word from each pair to complete the sentence. Number 1. On a number line, positive numbers are found to the left or right of 0. And negative numbers are found to the left or right of 0. So let's start here. Positive numbers are found. All right, very good. That is to the right. While negative numbers are found. Yes, very good. That is to the left of 0. Let's go to number 2. On a copy of a number line below, draw the graphs of the following coordinates. 5. So where can we put 5 in our number line? Okay, in here. So that is positive 5. Where can we put our negative 3 fifth? So negative 3 fifth is between negative 3 and negative 4. So it should be here. Alright, very good. And finally, we have 0.5. Since 0.5 is positive, then it is between 0 and 1. So it would be in this place. Okay, now let's continue. In exercises 3 to 11, find the value of x. Okay, the absolute value of 3 is equal to x. Therefore, our x is equal to 3. Okay, now number 4. The absolute value of negative 10.5 is equal to x. So the answer is positive 10.5. The absolute value of negative 2 is equal to x. Therefore, x is equal to positive 2. The absolute value of 3.14 is equal to x. So therefore, our answer for number 6 is positive 3.14. Number 7, we have the absolute value of negative 2.17 is equal to x. Our x is equal to positive 2.17. We have here, the absolute value of x is equal to 0. So by definition, our x is equal to 0. We also have here, the absolute value of 465 is equal to x. Therefore, our x is 465. Okay. We have here, what if we have a negative inside our absolute value? So the answer for number 10 is still 465. Now, let's go to number 11. What is the absolute value of x if it is equal to 465? Hint, look at exercise number 9 and 10. The answer for 9 and 10 is just the same, right? However, our x is inside our absolute value symbol. So therefore, there are two possible answers for this given problem. We have positive 465 or negative 465 because whatever the sign that we put here will result to positive 465. Now, let us go to the last question. What is wrong with the equation the absolute value of x is equal to negative 1? The correct answer is it is not possible because absolute value can never be negative. Okay, now let us round up our lesson. You've seen the number line plenty of times in earlier grades, but it is always useful. You don't always need to draw it out, but you can imagine a number line in your mind to work out which direction an operation will move a number. I hope you have learned our lesson for today, my dear math learners. This is still your free access math teacher. And always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you very much. And don't forget to click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like and share. Keep safe and God bless.